Namaste all, welcome to class 56. Firstly, I request you to subscribe our Yoga Vanta YouTube channel for regular updates. Now, we'll start today's session. Sit in any comfortable meditating position. If it is possible, sit in Vajrasana. Now, just wrap chin mudra in your both hands. Now, just keep your back straight. Close your eyes gently. First, relax your facial muscles. Especially release the tension from your forehead muscles. And just relax your eyebrows as well. Now you should just calm down your mind. Just draw your mind inward and focus on your breath flow. Now with complete awareness, just try to make your breath slower and deeper. Just continue with slow and deep breathing. Now let's start the session by chanting Om Kara three times. First exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Feel the resonance of Omkara. Now you should slowly hold your hands at your back, hold at your breast. Now just stretch your neck up as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Offer your salutations to Mother Land. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly. With few blinks, slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Now just stretch your legs forward. <coughs> and sit in Sukhasana. Sit in cross leg. <coughs> So, 
After these days, we did uh, many of the variations of Brahmari. Today, we'll do the actual practice of uh, Shanmugi Mudra and do the Brahmari. So, here the actual position of Shanmugi Mudra is so you should uh, place your little fingers on the lower lip, ring fingers on the upper lip, mid finger on tip of the nose. And from your index fingers, you should close your eyes. From your thumbs, you should close your ears. And this mid finger, keep in mind, you should not close the nose. Just keep the mid fingers at the tip of the nose. Just you should place it. Just touch the tip of the nose. That is sufficient. So this is called Shanmugi Mudra. By adapting Shanmugi Mudra, you should make the same humming sound. Mm. In whatever pattern we practice till these days, we'll just do the same humming sound for 10 times. Okay, for demonstration purpose, um, we'll do for uh, five rounds. So I'll be doing for five rounds, or else better you can uh, pause the video and uh, do it for 10 counts, and then you can uh, resume the video and continue. Okay, so well, uh, I'll just demonstrate once. You see, from the little fingers, you should place it on the lower lip ring fingers on the upper lip mid finger on tip of the nose and by index finger you should close your eyes and by using your thumbs you should close your ears and then you should start chanting in this way Like this, and you should adapt all the key points of chanting. You should not chanting, uh, you know, to the maximum. Like mm, that extra effort of chanting should be avoided. Keep your chanting in soothing and relaxed manner, and you know that harsh sound. Mm, that is also ne not necessary. Just smooth, and uh, you know it will get should get that uh, soothing effect while chanting. It's not like you know chanting hard or uh, chanting in a harsh voice. That has to be avoided. Like this. Mm. Like this, it is sufficient. Now we'll go for five rounds of Brahmari chanting. So place your little finger on the lower lip, ring finger on the upper lip, mid finger on tip of the nose, by index finger close your eyes, and from thumbs close your ears. Five counts start. Once you are done with five rounds, just adapt chin mudra. Feel the silence and enjoy the effects.
now with complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation warming now just rub your palms each other make your palms warm <coughs> Now just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly with few blinks slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Now just stretch your legs forward. And shake your both legs. <coughs> Listening practice now just join your both legs toe mint one fold your toes two three four five six seven eight nine ten ankle stretch one point your toes two heels out three four five six seven eight nine 10 foot rotation 1 2 3 4 5 opposite direction 1 2 3 4 5 half butterfly fold your right leg place it on the left pull your leg up heel should be on the thigh joint in asanas part we'll do an asana uh, today which will be based on this external rotation of the thigh joint so pay attention while doing this practice. Your heel should not slide down like this. Try to maintain your heel on the thigh joint and push your leg down as much as you can. Our main objective is to take the external rotation to the thigh joint. So if you slide it here like this, then it will pressure will be on the ankle. There will be no impact on the thigh joint. So here you should work on the external rotation of the thigh joint. So maintain your heel on the thigh joint. You should pull it up and then you should place your palm on the knee without changing the position of the right ankle you should press your leg down as much as you can if you can manage to reach your knee to the floor that's well and good okay start one press your leg down two up three press four five six seven eight nine ten press and stay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now just stretch your right leg forward now fold your left leg pull it up heel on the thigh joint one press down two lift up three four five six seven eight nine ten press and stay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now just stretch your left leg forward now I should fold your both legs and press your feet each other now pull your legs back as much as you can you should interlock your fingers now make your back straight just flap your legs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and just pull your legs back make your back straight push your thighs down stretch your neck upward as in a hill and by lengthening your spine bend forward bend as much as you can and stay bend up your capabilities don't force too much one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep on applying effort to bend forward. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slowly come up as in a hill. Let your legs be in the same position. <coughs> now just place your left palm on the left knee, right palm next to your right knee. You should just press your left leg down 
and try to bring your forehead closer to the knee just bend to the right as much as you can it's not compulsion to reach your forehead to the knee just bend and stay one two but your both legs should be pressing down three four five six seven eight nine ten slowly come up as inhale now place your right palm on the right knee left palm on the floor Press your right leg down and slowly bend to the left and stay 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now slowly come up as inhale. Now just stretch your left leg forward. Press your right foot on the left inner thigh. Left palm on the right knee and twist your body to the right. Look back and stay 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands forward as you inhale. Now just drop your hands, stretch your right leg forward. Now fold your left leg and twist your body to the left. Look back and stay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands forward as you inhale. Now just drop your hands and come to the standing position. Stand up in Tadasana. Now you should just keep your feet in shoulder width apart. Now you should interlock your fingers. Stretch your hands up. Lift your heels and stretch up your whole body. Stay 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heels on the floor. Now shift your body weight on left leg and bend to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a hill. Bend to the opposite side and stay. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Inhale. Now just twist your body to the right. Stay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Inhale. Twist opposite and stay 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale. Now just place your palms on the waist. Touch your thumbs each other. Now as you inhale, push your waist front. Expand your chest. Bend back and stay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now slowly come up. Place your palms on the knees. Bend your head and relax your waist. Now slowly come up as you inhale and stretch your hands forward, upper body twisting, one twist to the right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 release now place your fingertips on the shoulder joints shoulder rotations that one make big circle two three four five opposite direction one two three four five now just stretch your hands forward make fist to the palm wrist rotation one two three four five opposite one two three four five finger exercise one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now just hold your hands at your back 
neck exercise bend your head touch your chin to chest one stretch your neck up as inhale two bend your head as exhale three inhale stretch your neck up four exhale bend your head five breath in stretch your neck up six breath out bend your head seven inhale eight exhale nine inhale ten exhale now just bring your head in the neutral position sideward one turn your head to the right two turn to the left three turn right side four turn left five turn right six seven eight nine ten bring your head in the neutral position release now you should sit in cross leg <coughs> now in the next practice from cross leg you should place your palms on the knee you see your feet positions will be the same and i'm telling uh, those having uh, any issues with the knees be careful don't strain yourself so you should place your palms on the knee and without taking support of your palms i mean without pressing your palms on the floor you should slowly get up okay you see your feet position will be the same you should just roll and then you should sit down okay you can place your palms on the knees or else you can without taking support of your palms also you can just get up and then roll and then you should sit okay so we do it for 20 counts first lifting roll sit is considered as one count like this we'll do it for 20 counts okay so either you can place your palms on the knees or else without taking support of your uh, you know without pressing your palm on the knees also you can do the practice so we'll start the practice if you can manage to synchronize with me that's good or else according to your limit according to your comfortability you can continue the practice start one up roll and sit two up roll and sit three up roll and sit four up roll and sit five up roll and sit six up roll and sit seven up roll and sit eight up roll and sit nine up roll and sit ten up roll and sit okay if you find this is the maximum we can sit and relax for today so if you can manage to do 10 more cons do along with me okay and uh, on the mat if you do the practice there will be a chance of you know making your mat uh, messy so better do on the floor so when you are doing on the floor your your floor should be smooth it should not be rough okay so we'll go for 10 more cons 11 up roll sit 12 up roll and sit 
13 up roll and sit 14 up roll and sit 15 up roll and sit 16 up roll and sit 17 up roll and sit 18 up roll sit two more 19 up roll sit last one 20 up roll sit now just relax in Shitala Dandasana. Stretch your legs forward, legs apart, palms on the floor, and relax. Navat, complete awareness. Once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation. Navat, few blinks, open your eyes. Now we'll get into the practice of Surya Namaskara. You should just come to the standing position. <coughs> Front portion of my join your both legs and have Namaskar Mudra. Start Utvasana, lift your hands up, push your waist, bend back and stretch your neck. Hastapadasana, lengthen your spine and bend forward. Knee should be straight and bend your head. Ekapadasana, right leg back. Dvipada Prasaranasana, Shashankhasana. Sashtang Pranipatasana Bhujangasana Bhudarasana Shashankhasana Ekapada right leg front Hastapadasana Urdvasana Hastapadasana Left leg back Dvipada Prasranasana, Shashankhasana, Sashtanga Pranipatasana, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, Ekapada, left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, Right leg back, Dvipada Prasaranasana, Shashankhasana, Sashtanga Pranipatasana, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, Right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, left leg front, Hastapadasana, 
Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashankhasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, sixth round, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Shashankhasana, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, 10 steps Ashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, left front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, last four round, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, three more, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada Prasadanasana, Sashtanga Pranipatasana, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, last two rounds, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, last round, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, left front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Namaskara, now, all of you just sit down on your mat, sit in Sukhasana. Adapt chin mudra in your both hands. Your back should be straight. Close your eyes gently. Consciously observe your breath. Just feel the effects happening on your body. Feel the fast flow of breath and sense the rapid blood circulation throughout the body.
Navata. Complete awareness. Once inhale deeply. And then slow exhalation. Now palming. Just rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly with few blinks slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Now just stretch your legs forward. Based on the uh, loosening practices what we did, we'll choose an uh, asana which is called as Bhunamana Ardha Padmasana. So here in the practice, so just watch the key points. You should fold your right leg and place it on the left uh, thigh joint. So here once again telling uh, whenever you are dealing with the joints, you should be very much careful. The, here in this practice also, there will be intense pressure on the knee joint and thigh joint. So be careful if your body is not permitting, if your leg is not permitting, don't force too much. Just do up to your capabilities. Okay, just I am letting you know the final posture. You should just fold your right leg and place it on the left heel. You should pull it up and without allowing your heel to slide down, you should fold your left leg partially. You should fold your left leg in such a way that, see, <coughs> first point is, you should fold your leg partially in such a way that if you press your knee down, your knee should reach to the floor. This is the first point. And second point, try to align your knee within your foot. So generally what happens, it will come somewhere like this. But day by day practicing, you should pull your heel up and then you should fold your left leg partially and then maintain your knee within your foot. So these are the seating alignment. After doing this, so you should, uh, we'll be doing two variations again. You should fold your, you should hold your hands at your back, hold at your wrist and as you inhale, you should stretch your neck up and by lengthening your spine, you should slowly bend forward as you exhale. Bend as much as you can and stay. After uh, staying for 10 counts, in second 10 counts, you should release your hands, stretch your body further. And if you can manage to reach your forehead to the floor, go for this. Go for reaching your forehead to the floor. So touching forehead to the floor is also not compulsory. Just do as much as you can. Don't strain yourself too much. So be careful. There will be intense pressure on the knee. And if you find very difficulty to folding your left leg partially and doing this practice, then you can fold your leg and place it below the other leg. Uh, when you are doing this variation, you should not pull your leg fully like this. Just your knee has to be placed on the foot and do the same thing. 10 counts and 10 counts. So we'll get into the practice. <coughs> So, we'll start with the right leg. First, fold your right leg and place it on the left thigh joint. Pull it up as much as you can. Heel on the thigh joint. Now, fold your left leg partially in such a way that your knee should rest on the floor and your knee has to maintain within your foot. And hold your hands at your back. Now, stretch your neck up as in a hill. By lengthening your spine, slowly bend forward and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Now slowly stretch your hands forward, stretch it maximum and work on reaching your forehead to the floor again. Bend up to your capabilities and stay. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Now just step your hands back. Now just stretch your legs forward and relax in Shital Dandasana for a while. Relax your legs, especially relax your right knee. Now 
now with few blinks open your eyes <coughs> self complimentary we'll do opposite side now you should just fold your left leg place it on the right heel should be on the thigh joint and then you should fold your right leg partially your knee should be within your foot so you should hold your hands at your back so here a uh, day by day practicing so uh, see here yeah, this was this point your feet has to be passed below the rib cage see it should pass through the abdominal cavity so you can rest your forehead on the floor so if your ribs are placing on the foot then it will be uh, difficult to reach your forehead to the floor so that that's the reason you should lengthen your spine once you lengthen your spine then that will allows you to pass your foot at the abdominal cavity so then you can reach your head to the floor if ribs places then it will be harder to reach your forehead to the floor so we'll get into the practice now you should just hold your hands at your back stretch your neck up as you inhale by lengthening your spine slowly bend forward and bring your forehead closer to the floor breathe one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now just stretch your hands forward, lengthen your spine, and reach your forehead to the floor. Stay eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 18 19 20 now you just step your hands back now you just stretch your legs forward and relax in shital dandasana again relax your left knee ankle joint and relax your both legs completely Now with few blinks, open your eyes. <laughs> Now, next we'll go to the extended practice of previous classes practice. So here in this practice, so you should sit in Vajrasana. So from Vajrasana, you should just stretch your right leg forward and should place your right heel on the left thigh joint. You should pull it up. Same thing. Whatever we did in previous classes, we'll do the same sitting. Uh, I mean, uh, leg positions. Your heel should be on the thigh joint. You should pull it up, and your knees should be in a straight line. And you should keep your knees closer. And then here, you should work on placing your inner thigh on the floor. So you should step your hands forward, lengthen your spine, and place your inner thigh on the floor, and lie on your abdomen. So before we just Line on abdomen when staying in this position. Now, in today's class, you should the same alignments. You should mainly you should work on covering the gap between your pelvic and the floor, and then you should come on your elbows and place your palms on the cheeks and be in the position. So, when you are coming to this position, generally what happens? We we'll lift the navel and we we'll lift the pelvic and we we'll do somewhat like this. This has to be avoided. So, if you're having a tendency of lifting your navel in the posture, so let your uh, just stick to the previous practice. This is sufficient. Don't bother about coming on the elbows. First, you can manage if you can manage to place your abdomen on the floor. Then you should go to this Makarasana hand position. So, these are the key points which has to be followed. And your main objective is to minimize the gap between your pelvic and the floor. Generally, there will be slight lift over here. You should fix it. You should try to press your pelvic down, and here the main problem what happens to rest your pelvic on the floor is this leg. If your right leg slides down on the thigh, then it will obstruct you to reaching your pelvic on the floor. So work on this leg as well. Okay, your heel has to be pulled up and do the practice. Now we'll get into the practice. from vajrasana first you should sit in vajrasana we'll do the practice together from vajrasana stretch your right leg forward and you should place your right heel on the left thigh joint you should pull it up as much as you can 
and next you should keep your knees in the straight line and knees closer to each other so and if it is possible apply this technique you should place your palm on the floor first don't bring your chest down first bring your waist down and then reach your pelvic and lie on the abdomen if you can manage to do in this way that's good so you should not disturb the position of the knees hands forward slide your chest forward as much as you can and come on your elbows and place your hands on the cheeks your navel should be on the floor and breathe one twenty counts two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now slowly release your hands and slowly come up and yeah and then stretch your legs forward and relax your knees again now slowly open your eyes now we'll go to the other side so you should just sit in vajrasana again <coughs> if you have if you want extra relaxation you can sit in the shital dandasana again and relax once you are comfortable then you can go to the next practice okay so next leg so you should just stretch your left leg forward and you should place your left leg on the right heel has to be kept on the thigh joint you should pull it up and keep your knees in a straight line knees should be closer to each other so try to apply that technique which i informed before palm on the floor first bring your base down try to reach your left part of the pelvic on the floor lie on your abdomen lengthen your spine slide your chest forward as much as you can and you can come on your elbows place your hands on the cheeks Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 now slowly release your hands and place your palms at both the sides of the chest and slowly come up and according to comfortability you should just come out from the posture and relax in shital dandasana again legs apart palms behind your back put your head back and relax Now with few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Now you should sit at front portion of the mat. We'll go for Bhavanam Prakriyasana. So you all know the practice. So we'll do it for 10 counts. You should just sit at front portion of the mat. 
Now I should catch hold your both legs. We'll count and we'll uh, count yourself and do it for 10 counts. And if you can manage to synchronize with me, that's well and good. Start one, move back, come up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, nice. rest your spine on the floor, relax your back and neck region. Now I should just stretch your right hand over the head, roll right and get up. So in the next practice, so just watch the next practice. So here you should just fold your right leg and from your left hand you should catch hold out edge of the right foot and just work on making your leg straight as much as you can. If it is possible, make your knee absolutely straight. Generally our upper body will be hunching like this. Place your palm on the floor. Lengthen your spine. Try to make your back straight. In the same time, you should work on twisting part. Once you twist, then re release your right hand, stretch it towards your back, look back and be in a position. Okay, you should follow all these key points and get into the practice. Now first, fold your right leg. From left hand, hold up outer edge of the right foot. Make your right leg straight. Make your back straight. Open up your chest. Stretch your right hand back. Turn your face to the right and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now slowly release, stretch your leg and relax in Shital Dandasana. Now with few blinks, open your eyes. Now we'll do the same in the opposite direction. Now from right hand, catch hold out edge of the left foot and you should work on making your left leg straight. If it is possible, make your knee straight, make your back straight and just stretch your left hand back, turn your face to the left and stay. Breathe 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now slowly release and relax in Shital Dandasana again. Relax your body. Now with a few blinks, open your eyes. Now the next practice is Ubhe Palang Vishtasana. So here in this practice, so you should catch hold at your big toes, make your back straight and then you should just lift your heels up and place your, I mean you should uh, work on balancing on your hips and by maintaining balance on the hips you should work on stretching your legs. Try to stretch your legs as much as you can. If you can manage, try to make your legs and back straight and be in the position. 
so we'll get into the practice first fold your legs catch hold your big toes make your back straight balance on your hips and work on stretching your legs you can split your legs and make your legs straight and be in a position stay one two three four five balance on your hips six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now just fold your legs and stretch your legs and relax so those who find difficulty to balance on the hips and stretch your legs so you can do the previous weeks practice previous uh, classes practice so uh, those who find difficult to balance on the hips you can do the same thing by lying on the back catch hold your big toes and spread your legs and you should stay so whichever is comfortable you can go with that but your aims should be uh, to balance on your hips and do the practice okay so next lie on your back rest your spine on the floor next will be the bridge pose you should just fold your both legs partially there should be a slight gap between your feet uh, better to keep your foot in shoulder width apart palms at both the sides of the waist now slowly lift your waist up as you inhale tighten your hips and keep on lifting your waist and stay breathe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20 now slowly release relax last practice will be lumbar stretch mukhasana now here you should stretch your hands in the shoulder level step one you should just twist your legs to the right and turn your face to the left keep on interchanging two legs to the left and face to the right three twist right four twist left five twist right six twist left seven twist right Eight, twist left, nine, twist right, and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left and twist to the left, and stay. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly lift. Stretch your legs and relax in Shavasana. You should just keep your legs apart, hands away from the body. Palms should be facing upward. Your eyes should be closed gently. just loosen your whole body loosen all the muscles from tip of your toes to top of your head so just calm down your mind 
and enjoy the relaxation. Now just activate your internal awareness and you should consciously observe your breath flow. Just feel each and every incoming and outgoing breath. Now that complete awareness, once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation. Now let's come out from Shavasana step by step. Now with complete awareness, just give movement to your toes, slowly give movement to your ankles. Shake your both legs together. Give movement to your fingers, wrist, both hands together. Now you should just turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. Bring your head to the neutral position. Now you should just join your both legs. Bring your hands close to your body. Stretch your right hand over the head. Left palm on your abdomen. Slowly fold your left leg by pressing left foot on the floor. Roll to the right. Rest your head on the right bicep and relax your body again. Now slowly come up by placing left palm in front of chest and taking support of right elbow and right palm. Sit in any comfortable meditating position. Your back should be straight. Close your eyes gently. Now let's conclude the session by chanting Manumkara and Trishanti. Slowly tap Namaskara Mudra. Join your palms each other. Inhale deeply. Om Shanti 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 Now slowly hold your hands at your back. Hold at your breast. Now just stretch your neck up as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Offer your salutations to motherland. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now you should release your hands slowly with few blinks. Open your eyes and look at your palms. Please. Have a great day. Thank you all.